What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and we return to the war fields of four freaking honor. I am loving this game more and more and I think I found my new favorite hero. Peacekeeper was pretty awesome. Nobushi had her own style, but Berserker, freaking Berserker barraging through the battlefield is absolutely incredible. I love this character and you're going to see why in this battle. Uh, on the Citadel Gate in Dominion mode. I played this actually at the Pack South Hotel uh, where there's a will, there's a way, and so I brought my PS4 with me and managed to squeeze in some battles before the beta expired. Cannot wait for the game. Comes out in two weeks, and uh, I need to try every hero. But as of right now, man, this Berserker is just a freaking, freaking, freaking badass. I absolutely love everything about her. You can change it to be a guy or a girl, but I played it as a girl because I just felt incredibly awesome uh, wrecking fools as this crazy Viking just war born demon basically and you'll 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 understand I always go for the captures and I, I want to make uh, some videos showing off like how playing the mode is just as important as kills and I know like everyone kind of focused on kills but for the longevity of this game I hope people play the modes I really hope they do um, I hope people play different in Elimination, as in Dominion, as in, you know, Duel, as in Brawl, because it matters. Uh, but, but I spent some time going through the guide for the Berserker, and it was interesting how they, they have a video, a basic video, an advanced video, that I thought were really well done, showcasing and highlighting, uh, the moves. I kind of wish there was maybe an interactive video, almost like a tutorial. Um, but it, it still showed me uh, how to do some of her better moves that ended up really assisting um, as I played because she has some some moves that help her get into infinite combos and unbreakables. Uh, she has some starters that are these like jumping double axe slices that are really good and cool and they all contributed to helping me uh, actually get a crazy kill count in this match. This is my new best match ever. Uh, I was surprised because I thought like it was going to start off as just an average match, because you see here I get killed already at the beginning. That is the only freaking time I die the rest of the round. So that's the only respawn screen you're about to see. Make sure to let me know, by the way, if there's any specific heroes you want more of or any specific, like, things you want to know about. Um, I I've played a, a good, good, good chunk of this, so I can probably help you out. Also hit that like button if you enjoy and want For Honor to become a staple here. I think it's going to be, because I love the game enough. Um, and it, in an odd way, reminds me of Evolve, not because of the, the look, not because of the feel, not because of... The sales, not because of the, 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 the anything about it, really, except the fact that the videos were so fun for me to make and evolve, and I loved, like, covering... Goodbye, good night. Fall down to your death! Oh, baby, should not have used that freaking ability. Right on the edge of the wall. Uh, I, I like how I can cover, like, the heroes. I like how I can cover the matches. I don't know. It just it fits me, so I love it. We're capturing here, and we're actually losing right now, but about to flip that. Um, and I like to be a capture hog. I like to go around and, and grab points whenever they're available because very rarely do people stay and defend. Um, and maybe this is something that'll change as the, you know, the game grows and evolves and the player base becomes more familiar. But right now, like, you can go and just grab instantly. And it's really important because, like, what you have to remember about the capture points here is that as you, uh, as you take them, it's a 100-point swing instantly. So not only is it going to affect your future point growth, but each point you hold is, like, 100 points. So if I take a point from them, like right now if I went and captured their third point, it, they would drop down, uh, as you saw there, they went from like 340 to 240 because they lost control, it became neutralized, uh, the middle point, point B. And now we got B and so we gained 100 going from 538, or 438 to 538. So it's like really important, especially uh, as you get closer to the end of the game or you get in a breaking situation, you can really flip things around anyhow. Enough of that, let's focus on me just fighting the freaking samurai. Good night, good luck. All day long, you're freaking gonna cluck because you're, you're bleeding all over the place and it's like a chicken with their head chopped off. Alright, I think my, my, my one shining moment is about to happen here. There's a point in this match where I take out two at once and it's freaking glorious. I think it's actually right here. Okay, so I... Eh, maybe it's maybe it's a little bit long. Be patient, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Alright, so A has been taken and you'll notice that every time I go to get A, this dude just leaves A. He just got A. And now he's leaving A, and it's like, do you not want to fight me? Can I have your number? Can I have your number? No, I can't. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Just you take the point back and uh, establish our lead, because now we're almost double doubling them up. And I feel good about that. I might have a chance to mess with some of the uh, Berserker customization as well, which I really like. And obviously, like, 
nothing carries over, so I didn't want to spend a bunch of currency uh, on cool horns and things to make me look all fierce. But I cannot wait to like deck out my favorite heroes. And you know, I was talking to a, another a streamer actually about this game, and he was saying how he's gonna treat it like a fighting game and kind of just go all in on one character. And I, I'm never good at that. I'm not good at just like mastering one person. I would rather have a variety, but I think for Four Honor it would be cool to have like a hand. Like think of like a poker hand. So you've got like, okay, for this mode I like to rock the Berserker. Maybe in duels I'm more of a, of a peacekeeper. Maybe in brawls, you know, I go with Shugoki. Or at least have a hand so you can look at your team comp, see where you want to put yourself, and then go to work. And I wonder if different maps are going to favor different heroes as well or, or not. I hope that they don't, but I wonder if there will be like little tricks or techniques, or more likely it'll just be teams and how you decide to group up. But we've got a handsome lead right now, and so I'm just I'm just You're sniffing awesome. for blood. I'm hunting for blood, I'm looking for guts, I want to just gore some people here. And it's kind of surprising, because like, on one hand, For Honor is like a very, like, very classy game, right? You got armor, and swords, and stances, and you battle, and you clash, and you block, and you... And then on the other hand, it's like, let's just chop people's heads off. So sometimes it's like a really, like, interesting... You'll have this, like, really intense battle, and you're like, Oh, good day, sir. I'm really proud of you for fencing like a freaking pro. And then you're like, and now I'm gonna take your freaking whole head off. Which, uh, just sometimes is, is, is silly. Uh, she can actually throw her axes... Um, and it doesn't it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does stun them. I'm pretty sure I missed there, uh, but I get it back later. Uh, in the beta, here is where I take two. So I go revenge, and look, I've got two guys on me. I take one, and then I'm like, nope, son, nope, son, get down on the ground. Do not try and beat the berserker. Two on one ain't a thing when you've got this bad girl. And now I've got a third, and I'm like, again, take my axe, slice and dice. Your health meter is nice, but mine is greater. So now I activated my fourth ability, which is this enhanced sprint speed. And so I'm coming in and just slashing and crashing. And when you have this enhanced speed, if you use some of those starter moves, uh, you can jump in there because you literally leap, as you saw. Get that damage, and now I'm using the rest of my, uh, my wheels to go grab zone A back. Because they've got C, A, and B, and we're in a little bit of a, a bad way right now. But I take A back, B has been neutralized, now we've got B, and so all is well. We've broken them, sudden death time. Uh, and like, man, the Berserker is satisfying because she's all about getting up and getting dirty. Like, you can block, and you should. You can dodge, and you should. But she's got some sexy dodges into attacks that are really nice. She has a lot of feints that are important to master. And, like, this game goes so much deeper than I initially expected. Initially, I expected all the heroes to function sort of similarly with different weapons and different aesthetics. But they really do have their own moveset. And eventually, as you, you know, as you learn and, and get good with, like, parrying and all that stuff, like, it's going to be intense. And especially in the brawls and the duels, man, that really shows up. And you have just these, like, remarkable battles. And I think Four Honor is going to be fantastic at water cooler moments. I get tired. But that don't matter. I take him down and that boosts back my stamina and some of my health because Berserker's all about, like I said, getting up and feasting. So they've got one dead, three to go, and we are going to try and be responsible for as many of these kills as we possibly can. Uh, this guy's doing a nice job blocking. Not too nice, though. Not for long. Can't last uh, against the freaking uh, Witch of the War here. And we are taking them down! Look at this battle. I love this right here. They're going to try and escape. It's just not going to work. Two dudes left. And this was my first experience with the Berserker. And I was pretty darn convinced that she's going to be one of my favorites after this round. Uh, because as you see, we just wrecked. And it's the beta, so people aren't like the best or anything. But I still was dang proud. And I finished the fight with a decapitation execution. Uh, and you'll see my score pop in a second here. But it's 14 kills, one, 1 death. Which I'm very happy with. It's a lot of kills. It's not very many deaths. I'd be going uh, MLG Pro if this was Call of Duty. Maybe not 14, I'd probably do like 40 in one. But like the ratio, the KDR, is strong with this match. Um, and here's a good good for honor like infrastructure or like foundation or whatever you want to say uh, thing. So the match loses connection. And it's like, oh, sorry, like, sucks. But they make sure to point out that your rewards will be added automatically when everything is okay again. So you'll see in a second here, it's going to proc... Uh, with my rewards. So there you go. So it sinks, so I get my loot, um, I get my, my currency, and everything is okay, even though there was a disconnection. I think that's really important and a really nice feature that they added there, so we won't have, like, last-minute disconnections that ruin things. Obviously, if it's mid-match, probably gonna be in a bad way, 